saying with your chest. Ziamboroma. We've launched a world whiskey first, but we're also launching tonight a South African first experience specially made for you that's joined us here tonight. I'm not going to talk about our whiskey, I'm going to leave that up to Annie. But tonight is an extremely proud evening. It's also proud for South Africa, it's proud for the brand. The mustard distiller, Mr. Angie. How are you doing, sir? I'm good, thanks. And yourself? I'm good, thank. Welcome back to the show, actually. Yeah, I know. It's, <laughs> it's great to be back in Johannesburg yeah. again. Well, last time, of course, we were talking about the 10-year three ship, um, three ships um, whiskey. Right now, it is, of course, 15 That's years. Correct. A different one. Now, yeah. the difference between that one and this one. Well, the 10-year-old was a, a single malt whiskey. Uh, this is a 15-year-old blend. It's the oldest whiskey which we've released out of our distillery. And what makes this one really special is the fact that it's been finished in Pinotage casks. That's a, a wine varietal which is unique to South Africa. So we have a South African whiskey which has had a finish in a South African wine cask. So you get that beautiful wine notes coming through, uh, married well with the whiskey, and also a little bit of that winey color too, the, ru <laughs> the ruby red of the Pinotage cask yeah. as well. Wow. So no, we, re we really, really, really absolutely stumped about this one. Well, I, I felt a different taste. If I had to recall the 10 year whiskey, three ship whiskey you had before, compared to this one, I still prefer the 10 year old oh, yeah. one. I, I feel like I fell in love with that one. <laughs> I think that's what makes whiskey so fantastic. It's very subjective. Yeah. Uh, you know, this is a different style of whiskey totally. Uh, you will get people who say no, they prefer, you know, the 10 year old single malt to a blend. Uh, obviously, the malts is a lot more flavorful in their own right. Where here, what we've tried to do with the Pinotage cask finish is to give the consumer an indication of what was previously in that cask, which the whiskey has been finished in. So that's why we've, you know, as I say, we've combined the two, giving you the best of both worlds, where you've got a, a nice whiskey, but with that little hint of the wine coming through with it as well. We're here, we're having fun, we're enjoying. So far, how's the experience? I'm loving it. Um I love supporting local distillers yeah. and what they've done with this whiskey is something completely new. Yeah. So I'm fascinated. And what do you think about the whole presentation in 3D right there on the they table in front it. of us? I've <laughs> never seen that before. Eh? I was like, yo. Well, well, 
Did you see that? I saw Hey, I was blown away. You were blown away. But shows, I mean, South African can do top stuff. Yeah. Yeah. How are you loving the event? Oh, I am absolutely loving it. It's yeah. so beautiful. You have no idea. So we got you obviously, and there was placemats, and yes. we were like. You know, and they it's insisted you mustn't move your cell phone, you must move your cell phone, you must move your bag. So obviously, you know, the element of surprise was amazing. <laughs> and this venue is actually quite secluded, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So when we came in here, we are like, this is actually quite beautiful. <laughs> and I love that, you know, like they said, they were saying that the way you present your whiskey is amazing because mm. how we taste it tastes almost different. Yeah. So um, when I did taste it, I, was just, I just thought, and I just saw the whole 3D right there in front of that you. That was amazing. That was amazing. <laughs> and I've always been introduced to three ships. I mean, uh, when I used to be a student, I used to promote it. So I know Ooh. it very well. So when I came today, I just thought to myself, I'm going to have an open mind, you know, from the Cosmo yeah, yeah. ones to this one. And when I tasted it, I was like, no, I'm loving it, man. It's beautiful. I think um, it's a first of its kind, obviously. And the grape that's used is quite rare. It's a... Uh, it's a South African grape, so that's a plus for us. Like, hey, <laughs> economy is not doing so well right now. So, <laughs> if they make anything using anything from here, I, I celebrate. You know what I mean? Yeah. And yeah, man, the food is great. Um, great company. It's not too much of a turn up because yeah. it's Wednesday. We'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sasha, <laughs> Pusa, Pusa Thursday tomorrow. You know what I mean? <laughs> exactly, exactly. But uh, otherwise, it's a it's a beautiful evening. I'm loving it. Yeah. Um, you get to learn. You get to meet people like you guys. And <laughs> <laughs> 